so much. Thank you, Chairman, Mike, Dana, and everyone who's been so involved in making this the success that it is. Folks, I have to say, things are looking good. I'm going to report to you from the trenches because Glenn and I have been out, and I have to say, things are looking very good for the Democrats. We have just this past week seen our opponents confronting each other publicly. We have seen, we have gone to events where our, our opponents should have been, but we're glad to report that they never showed up. Things are good, guys. Things are really, really good. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of work to do. There's no question about it. But I think the stars are lining up for all Democrats from the top down, all the way through the ticket. I think it's, looks, it's looking good, as, as we've heard earlier. But it's not, it's, it's tough work, you know, but we're out there doing it. And we're working really hard. But, you know, the arrogance that we're seeing that's coming out of the White House, as you've heard from our congressmen, on what's going on in Washington. Uh, what you've seen this week in terms of the financial industry and what what we're faced with, that same arrogance, guys, is, is, is exists here in Monmouth County. And it, and it exists in the Hall of Records by the Republican-led Board of Freeholders. And Glenn and I are going to put an end to that. There's just no place for that. You know, it's interesting, when you, when you look at the parallels that exist, there really are some interesting parallels between Washington and Monmouth County. And just to give you a little historical perspective on things, Republicans have been in control of Monmouth County since 1990. Well, in 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. That was the beginning of the first Gulf War. Well, here we are today, 18 years later. We have troops fighting in Iraq at a cost of $10 billion a month. While the Republicans, who control our county, are running a budget of almost a half a billion dollars a year. That being said, I also want to address that our taxes have gone up during that time by 75%. So, we've got the opportunity now, we're going to change that. We're going to bring Democrats into the White House by electing Obama. We're going to bring Democrats into Congress, many more Democrats, many more districts. We're going to have a, a democratically controlled Board of Freeholders. And many, many more Democrats on the local front because from what we've seen, this is the direction we're going in. You know, we're getting support from both sides of the aisle. You know, Glenn and I had a, a fundraiser at a, at a Republican's home just two weeks ago. I think things are really looking good. So with that being said, this is the time for change. And we're going to do it here in Monmouth County as well. So thank you all. Thank you.